folks. Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Hey, we got a couple customers with some shipping problems. These second generation boosters, they be throwing them around and bending the studs and shipping and all that. I bent this one intentionally. You know, it looks like, it looks like hell. It's way out of whack. And uh, we've had this happen before, and I wanted to show folks uh, what we found the easiest way to straighten it. You know, something with a handle with a little bit of leverage, maybe a 3 8 quarter inch deep socket, it just fits over that stud nicely. And uh, if you use a slow, gentle movement, you'd be real surprised what you can uh, correct. And the other thing is, too, I don't know your situation where you are, but... Uh, you know, if metal's a little bit warmer than normal, it tends to move easier, and a hair dryer just for a second works really well. So th this one's bent to all hell, so we're going to give it a shot and see if we can't straighten them up a little bit. Well, shoot. That was, uh... That was pretty quick. Um, looks pretty good. Get this bad boy oriented right. And uh, let's see how close we are. Well, shoot, doggone it. We might have gone a little bit too far. There we are, my friends. It's awful doggone close, so a uh, little bitty extension, 3 8 quarter inch deep socket, fits that stice stud nicely. If you'll look, slow and gentle, you can't even tell it was straightened, absolutely. So, there you go, my friends. God bless you. Happy Mopar, and have fun, always.